Chesney and, and Loki will get that championship. But Sterling's gonna defend that title one final time. You we don't know his opponent yet. See who promoter Norm Connor says lined up as an opponent for Sterling. Norm obviously very upset that Sterling refused to compete in Super Indy 4, jeopardizing the tournament's legacy. Last time I was in this building, I was laid out. Two cracked ribs. That's great. I'm not out here to yell because I learned a hell of a lot that day. I learned not to trust. And I guarantee the head time card will be dealt with. Whether it be by people within my company, or whether it be people that I call on the phone who haven't been here for quite a long time. Norm has a lot of connections in this decade long history. What about you? Real simple. Keep it simple, stupid. You're great. You've done a hell of a job in the last couple of years to improve yourself. But to be very honest with you, if you wouldn't have that gigantic chip on this shoulder, you would be face to face with Vince McMahon right now and not in one car. And if you want someone to fight tonight, that's great. Everybody here is booked. But like I said, I went from the outside in. And if you want to fight somebody from Pittsburgh, all I had to do was look down the street, the best wrestler, not wrestle for IWC. And I want you to bring out your challenger tonight, Justin Idol. What? Justin Idol? This isn't right. This isn't fair. Who is? He doesn't work here. You don't prepare for wrestling people outside of the business. This is not right to Sterling James Keenan. This is not right to Browski. He refused to compete in Super Indy 4. Norm had free reign to give him an opponent. He was booked and is just an idol. An underground hit in Pittsburgh for many years. Finally, making his debut. It's not right, Norm! Why not pick King Kong? Why not pick a guy with a gun? This isn't right to Sterling James Keenan. love this, don't you? It's going to be a great matchup. Sterling's final defense of the Super Indy Championship before it goes to the winner of our final Super Indy title matchup later tonight. Fabulous and Loki. Sterling had a chance to defend the title in Super Indy 4. He declined. This is what he gets. You sycophant, Dombrowski. Justin Idol is an eight-year pro. Worked his way up in this area and others for many years. Competed for several major promotions throughout the country, including NWA Wildside, the now defunct NWA Wildside in Georgia. Also frequently tours all up and down the East Coast, wrestling for a myriad of wrestling promotions. And Justin Idol has finally made his way to IWC. And Sterling, Sterling had no time to prepare for Justin Idol, no time to ready himself. That's gonna come back to haunt him perhaps as Justin Idol snaps off the satellite head. Beautiful drop kick. And the Super Indy Connor is in trouble early on. Think about who Sterling James Keenan has beat. Colt Cabana, CM Punk, Petey Williams, 
AJ Styles. But look at the trouble he's having with Justin Idol. Well, if you keep reading down that list in the future, I'm sure Justin Idol will be added to that. He is championship material. He is a goddamn blue shipper. And just because you throw this, this, this swerve at him doesn't mean he's not going to be able to deal with it. Hell is empty. The devil's in that ring right now, Dombrowski. The devil just missed a clothesline, so Justin Idol might be going for a run up. Takes Justin Idol down. Upper body first. Inverted DDT by Sterling James Keenan has himself in control of Idol now to add a kick out. And let's take nothing away from Justin Idol. In his other promotion, he's a great wrestler. He's done a lot, he's done a lot of really great things in the ring. But let's make no mistake, Sterling James Keenan goes through him tonight. Well, we'll see about that. Justin Idol certainly has proven himself in promotions around this area and others. Look, up, look out for the Idolizer, his cradle tombstone pile driver finisher. If you could get a chance to snap it off in this matchup, Justin Idol, if he wins this matchup, he'll win the Super Indy title for a little bit, only until the end of the night. He'll win it for about an hour. Exactly. He won't get to hold on to that championship for very long, but he'll add his name to a very prestigious list AJ Styles, Chris Saban, Super Hentai, etc. Man, that have that Super Indy Championship. You know, Justin I would be loved to think, be thought of in the same breath as those men. Whereas, if, I shouldn't say if, when Sterling wins this match, he has, said, he has stated he's leaving the building with the belt tonight. It was a belly to belly by Sterling. And Justin Idol is in trouble. The Super Indy Killer definitely not wanted to be messed with. A master of psychological warfare, a master of just about anything inside that ring. And you gotta believe he had a plan when it came to dealing with the Super Indy Championship tonight. But I think Justin Idol's throwing a little bit of a wrench in his plan. Uh, a little bit. I think it's a pretty big wrench. Justin Idol takes him down with an inverted DDT. And there's a kick out. <laughs> Sterling able to reverse now. Justin Idol with an elbow. Sterling ducks under. Shopping him down with a backbreaker. Bends Justin Idol's spine. Lateral pressure, that almost does it. You know, let's make no mistake, not just anyone can hold this belt, Dombrowski. Sterling James Keenan has done a great job. He's championship material and he's showing it right now. And it's Sterling with a camel clutch on Justin Idol. Doesn't have the arms trapped on the legs like it's to conventionally applied, but still doing its damage to Idol. Now Sterling is in firm control. Sterling, of course, has his fans here tonight. Justin Idol, an unproven commodity to some of our IWC fans. Sterling James can definitely show he can get it done in the two and a half plus years he's been around. Sterling with a boot. That's Charging right. through and a spinning heel kick by Justin Idol. Martial arts kicks are a staple of Justin Idol's offense. Turning point in the match potentially here. Idol hit that big maneuver. Sterling James Keenan, slow to recover. Idol stealing it. His reputation precedes itself. A lot of these fans familiar with his work and they want to see him win the Super Indy title on just his first night in the company. What an accomplished that, that would be. A cross the body between the top and second ropes. Uh, very unique. Oh! That was the gut check by Idol. Followed through into the knee to the back of the head. He's got the title now. Justin Idol hitting the gut check. I needed a back in the head. Good Lord. What a tremendous showing. Whether you agree with Norm Connor's decision or not, you have to say you've been impressed by Justin Idol. I absolutely have. Just because he's not on the caliber of Sterling James Keenan oh. doesn't mean he's not a good wrestler. That remains to be seen. We'll see what happens in this matchup as Sterling gets the STO takedown on top for the cover. Oh, very, very close. Idol just barely sneaking out of the nick of time. Sterling has Idol right where he 
wants him now, so it would seem. Irish grip, reversal by Idol. Tried to elevate him, Sterling moved out of the way. And there's those martial arts kicks, breaking Sterling down, following through with the neck breaker. Justin Idol, could this be his night super indie title? Almost in his grasp, another near fall situation. Justin Idol now feeling it. Might be time for him to finish him off. And let's make no mistake, Idol definitely has his fans in this building. He's been wrestling here locally for quite a while. Idol charges, but Sterling catches him. Duck of the clothesline. Hard collision mid-ring. Sterling takes down Idol. Idol had other, other things in mind, but Sterling just just stops any momentum Idol was trying to work out. You know, you don't always have to have some sort of clever, quick reverse. Sometimes all you really need... What countered the Dragon Suplex into a roll-up. Sterling still grabbing Idol. Look, it's the Dragon Suplex. Idol dropped on the top of his head. Sometimes all you need is sheer brutality. He jumps up, he tries something, Sterling just knocked him out of the air. And now he just dumped him on his head. Both men again, see, showing the effects of this matchup. Sterling just over to the cover, just dripping the arm across the body of Idol, almost enough to put him away. A mistake on Sterling's part, I'll freely admit it, because I am impartial, I am unbiased. Sterling should have had a better cover there. Sterling in control of Idol. Hammering away. There's a knee to Justin Idol. Sterling getting distracted here. This is just one downfall. Idol up and over. Jockeying for position. Sterling caught him. Stop the weight. MK Ultra. Look at Idol. Idol counters out. Sunset flip bomb. He's got a title. No. It, it takes more than that to beat Sterling James Keenan. Well, Sterling didn't want to compete in Super Indy 4, but he may have just as tough a road in retaining his title now than he would out if he had been in the tournament. And Ido's going up top. <laughs> On top, but Sterling bails out. Smart move by Sterling, buying himself some time. Idol can't fly that far. Give Sterling whatever credit you may or may not want to. He, he is smart. He does have that mental advantage over most of his opponents. Is, is he just going to take a count out victory? Sterling trying to take the cheap way out here. Sterling's leaving. That's it. That's a count of 10. Ring, Ring the bell. bell. This matchup is over. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest has a result of a count of Justin Idol! Justin Idol gets a victory, albeit not pinfall or submission, a victory over the Super Indie Champion and his well, first night in the company. The only way a champion can take hands is by a pinfall or submission. Losses. Sterling wasn't gaining anything from this match, so he took off a smart.